Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In this video, we will see what is an explicit intent and what is an implicit intent. And we will see how we can use explicit and implicit intents in Android. So first of all, what is an explicit intent? An explicit intent is one that you use to launch a specific app component such as a particular activity or service in your app. So whenever you want to invoke some activity or some component within your app, then you use explicit intent. Now what is an implicit intent? An implicit intent specify an action that can invoke any app on the device able to perform the action. So you use implicit intent whenever you want to invoke some app or some activity from other app in your device from your app. So explicit, you invoke activity or you are able to invoke activity within your app and implicit intent, you can invoke an activity or some component of the activity from the other app which is present in your device. So let's get started and see how we can use implicit and explicit intent in Android. So first of all, I will create an app. So create a new app and I will name it as app one, for example. Okay. And everything will be default for now. And this will be blank activity and finish. So my project is created now and first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a large text and I'm going to take a button here. And I want to change the text of this button and the large text so I will go to the text area and in here I'm going to uh, write main activity app one. Okay. And for the button I'm going to change the button text as open activity one. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I want to open a new activity from this button click. So first of all, I will create a new activity. So I will right click on my app, new activity, blank activity. And this activity, I will name it as activity one app one. Okay and I will click finish and this is going to create this activity and instead of uh, this hello world I'm going to take a large text and I'm going to change the text of this large text as activity one app one so this is the activity which is present in our app one now in order to open this uh, activity from your main activity what you can do is you can go to this uh, button component here and in here you can add an attribute called android on click okay and you name a method for example open one and this method we are going to create in our main activity.java file so go to main activity.java file and in here create a method which will be public void and open one. So this method name should be same as this one. Okay. So open one and it will take one argument which is view name it as view itself. And inside this method what we want to do is we want to create an instance of intent. So intent object name will be intent is equal to new intent and it's going to take two argument first is this context and second is the activity class name so our activity class name is activity one app one okay dot class so what it's going to do is it's going to create an intent object which we can call from a method called start activity so start activity and just pass this intent object here and it's going to open your uh, first activity using your main activity. So let's run the program. 
So my app is running now and when I click this open activity one, it's going to open this activity one in app one. And this is an example of explicit intent. And what it says that you can open an activity or any component within your app using explicit intent. Now in order to see the demo for implicit intent we need to create one more app so first of all we will create one more app so go to file new project and this app we are going to call it as app 2 okay and click next and click next and it's going to be blank activity click finish so my second project is created called app 2 and from this app I want to open the activity from my first app which is app 1 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drag and drop a button and I will change the text of this button as open activity 1 from app 1 okay so we are going to open activity 1 from app 1 so to open activity one from app one using your app two, what you need to do is first of all, go to your uh, last project, which you have created, which was app one and go to the manifest file here. And in here, whenever you create an activity, you will see here that uh, extra tag is created for your activity. Now, in order to uh, open this activity from your other app which is app 2 what you need to do is you need to have a intent filter here so you can uh, see there is already one intent filter in our main activity so you can copy this from here and paste inside your activity and inside this intent filter there are two tags one is action and one is category okay and in action android name you want to give the name of your activity okay so what we are going to do is we are going to go to our activity one in our app one and we are going to go to the xml file of this activity one of app one and we will copy this package name from here okay and why we are doing this we will see in a bit but just paste it here your activity package name and by doing this this activity is visible to all the app within your device now in order to uh, allow other devices to access this activity you need to have this category and this category should be here default okay so this should be default category so now your activity can be seen by other apps within your device okay and now what you can do is you can uh, just remember this package name from here and now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our second app which is app 2 and for this button which we have created in app 2 we want to open the activity from app 1 okay so i'm going to go to text here and I'm going to add a new attribute which is Android on click and I'm going to open activity one from app one and now I'm going to copy this method name and I'm going to go to my main activity Java file of my activity two and I will create a new method here public void and this method name and then view and inside this uh, method what we can do is we can once again create an object of intent so intent is equal to new intent and this time instead of giving the context and the exact name of your uh, activity what you can do is you can give the package name which we have given here okay so just copy this package name from app one activity one and go to app two and paste it here okay so now this line 
can recognize your activity one from your app one and now you can open this activity so start activity using this intent so just pass this here okay so now I'm going to run my second app which is app 2 so my app 2 is running now and when I click this open one from app 1 it's going to open the activity 1 from app 1 okay so from app 2 you can see here when I click this button it opens activity 1 from app 1 so this is an example of implicit intent so always remember whenever you want to open an activity or component within the app you use explicit intent and whenever you want to open or access an activity or component from other app within your device you can use implicit intent so i hope you have enjoyed this video please recommend subscribe and bye for now